So have you guys watched the uh, the No Nuke show yet? I the I have to say, uh, I haven't seen this new compilation yet. I'm about to watch tonight. Okay. Um, no spoilers. I bought it on Apple uh, thing, and I, I'm, I'm having a few people over, having pizza, and we're watching it on a very big screen with big sound. And I couldn't be more excited because the first time I heard Bruce Springsteen, I was 15 years old, and somebody played me Born to Run. And I thought, this guy is a singer? This is singing? <laughs> this is, what is this? It, it scared were me. You, were you older <laughs> then? I was 15. Yeah. But I was always 80. Right. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen? And- is he yeah. Jewish? Is that what is that what your first question was? Uh, uh, maybe I'll like it. Springsteen? Sure. <laughs> it's got to be Jewish. <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm like, well, uh, uh, it's not for me. And then I go to college and people are circulating these tapes, these bootleg tapes. And I hear the humor in him and the joy and the fun and the power. And I get it. Now, this is pre-MTV. This is 1977. This is pre-everything. There's no way to see him unless you're going to the show. Well, once I started becoming addicted to the tapes, then I was getting all the albums. Then I was becoming a rabid fan. And here comes this No Nukes movie in 79. And now I get to see him at least. And for those of you who don't know, No Nukes is a compilation of many artists of the time, James Taylor, Carly Simon, Jackson Brown, Bonnie Raitt, a lot of great, well, all my favorites from the 70s, really. It's really a time capsule if, you, if you're lucky enough to see it. I don't even know how you can see that movie today. Is it out? Is it available? Can you? I have no idea. I don't think it is. I, but I think on YouTube, you can see clips of it. It's anyway, in pieces, yeah. So there's three Springsteen songs. And I remember because I saw it many times. It was the first time I ever saw him. Thunder Road, The River, and Quarter to Three. When you see Quarter to Three, you become a Springsteen fan. I don't care who you are. Yeah. You, you may be able to you sit through the river. I get it. Oh, good song. Thunder Road, great song. Quarter to Three, this is undeniable. You are seeing rock and roll personified. You are seeing the joy, the majesty, the power, everything about performance, rock, childlike enthusiasm, just joy, joy, joy. And from that moment on, it, it, I had to do whatever it, I could do to see this person live. And the next year was the River Tour, 1980. And I remember my uh, mother's friend's daughter got tickets and I said she was about five years younger than me so I'm 20 at this time and I say that I will marry you if you will let me go to this show <laughs> I was lying but that's how <laughs> deeply I wanted to go and so I took 20 year old took three 15 year olds <laughs> to the show and you said and, I was the one, <laughs> Jennifer. Yeah, right? And the one crying was me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So from that point on, yes. So to answer your question, I haven't seen this whole thing, but I've seen the three songs from it. And I cannot wait to watch because I hear this is like the holy grail of this is him at his peak. You know, if you if you think his yeah. his filet mignon years were were. 75 to 85. This is right in the middle. This is peak, peak, peak. A human lightning bolt on stage, right? If you saw that tour, uh, wow, I can't, I can't wait. And this is, they were recording, as I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, they were recording the River album in 79. And he did something that he swore he wouldn't do, which is go on stage while they're recording because he didn't want to break up that energy real that focus. And he went on, he did a 90 minute set, two nights. And this is the best of the two nights, I believe in 90 minutes, right? 